Good morning. This is Betty Bear from Betty Bear's Nomadic Travels. Welcome you to Westport, Washington. Let's go on a little uh, tour of Westport, Washington. And I'd sure like you guys to come along. Well, I came to Westport to, um, there was a campground up here that I wanted to go see. So I drove for quite a little bit here to get here, but I got to the campground and I didn't. And I like it. They, they closed most of the state campground and so there was just like one section open. And I didn't like it. So I thought, well, I'm going to go into the town of Westport and check it out. So I ended up, it was like six o'clock by the time I got here. And I was tired and I was hungry. So I parked in a grocery store parking spot. And I looked all over for a sign that says, uh, you know, no overnight camping, no parking, uh, um, unauthorized vehicles will be towed. I didn't see any of that. So I thought I might be pretty safe in camping here. So anyway, I camped there overnight and across the street there was a little restaurant and uh, I went over and had something to eat, had a cocktail and, and, uh, and camped in that parking spot overnight. And this morning I got up bright and early so I could come see Westport. And it's, there's somebody here, you can see this. I passed one person on this whole dock here. Is that a soul here? But, and it's not raining. Last night it rained so, so bad. It rained so bad that I thought, oh, please, 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 please don't blow over. And the wind was just a howling and the thing was rocking. Actually, I almost got up and, and shot a video so you could hear how bad it was. But then I thought I looked too ugly. So I said, no, I'm not doing that. But anyway, it rained so hard last night. And I thought, please don't flood for God's sake. But I, and I thought if there was anything, if there was anything in my trailer that could blow over like a, um, you know, an awning or anything like that. I thought it would have went last night because boy, oh boy, was it windy. But uh, anyway, so we're at the dock here. We're going to go into this little gift shop. Gift shop right at the very end of the dock. We're going to see, we're going to see what we can find. Oh, look here. Look at all those crab pots. They do a lot of crab in here. Well, this is the store I was talking about down at the end of the, uh, the end of the dock. How stinking cute is this? This has been here 60 years. Maybe I'll find something for my granddaughter and my little grandson. Look at this. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I just sat here and visit with this young lady that owns the store. And her name is, your name's Karen, right? Karen. Her name is Karen. What a great story. I'll have to go. I'm going to go out and we'll kind of show, tell you a little bit of the story. But we had a really good time. Got a couple things for my kids and my grandkids. And I'm going to hit the road. So I'll talk to you guys in just a few minutes. Well, what, what a sweet, sweet lady. <laughs> the story she told me about how she got this little gift shop. Let me show it to you again. There's a little window of this little gift shop. It's way down here at the very end of the dock. I, I didn't even know it was here. Anyway, what a cute little story. I enjoyed the heck out of her. Well, I stopped at this little uh, clam chowder place. It's uh, about 11.30 and I was getting hungry. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try their clam chowder. So I stopped at some place and I think it's called Brett's. Brett's Clam Chowder, Chowder Shack or something like that. But anyway, just got my clam chowder. Chowder bowl. Tell me that doesn't look yummy. And she's bringing me a cup of coffee and I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my, my view.
as you can see, it was really windy and really cold. Even with the muffler on my microphone and the camera, I couldn't hear a thing after hearing the playback. But I did absolutely enjoy myself. What a beautiful, beautiful place to hang out. You know, to some people, it's a struggle living the nomadic life. And I totally understand that. It's not for everyone. But when you get an opportunity and a chance to see places that you would not normally be able to see and enjoy some of the epic views that you see, it makes it all worthwhile. None of this would be possible if I didn't listen to my gut, even if I was scared, and do it. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm, I'm out of my mind. I'm crazy. I'm freezing cold. I'm hot. I'm frozen. I, I Sometimes I just feel like I'm losing my mind. But every minute when I get back into my tiny house and I say, oh my gosh, that was so cool. Well, this is where I parked my tiny house to go visit Westport. Let's go in, get a little warmed up, and uh, I think this video is just about over. Well, guys, what a great little town. Cold, cold and, and windy. But a uh, really nice little place to hang out for a little bit. Clam chowder was good, not great. Mine's better, but it was still pretty good. So anyway, I think we're gonna leave you right here. Had such a great time today. It was a, a spur of the moment. Didn't know I was gonna come here video, but thank you guys for, for joining me. Thanks for tagging along with me. Appreciate each and every one of you. So if you had, my, my mouth is like, well, I can hardly talk. <laughs> I'm so cold. But if you enjoyed any of this video, give me a little thumbs up, hit that bell icon, and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.